Also, so, let's dive into, into this video. So, um, I got asked about how I do my metal stuff and so um, I just decided to do some quick tip about it and I hope it's helpful. I don't know, uh, let me know in the comment about uh, what you want to know and if it's too messy. Um, so, here we go. Um, actually, in the most cases I do manipulations and, and stuff, compositings, and in this case um, the thing is all about having um, the same look applied to different materials. So this one incorporates wood, uh, metal, um, plastic, metal, uh, wood, and, and, and um, a lead, so what, whatever. Whatever material it comes in, it makes sense to have it unified uh, or have a unified look in in one case or the other. So, and there are some interesting uh, technical approach about this, and I want to go into detail about it soon. Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that it is absolutely important that you understand how metal or actually any surface does work. In terms of metal it makes sense to understand that it is a matter of you have you have only two uh, merely two options to decide from. Either your material is diffuse or glossy. So and a diffuse uh, surface like this one um, light doesn't bounce the way it does on a on a reflecting surface that's your surface and that's how light come in and in um, absolutely opposite uh, way is when you have uh, i believe it doesn't work um, if you have a glossy surface you have only one point where light comes in and at the same point light will go out. So and that's that's what makes it different. And the same uh, the same works with uh, shadow, yes. So instead of um, using soft brushes to achieve your look, use hard brushes. So that changes everything. So and with the um, little tip about materials we have here some very smooth textures, actually diffuse textures, and what I did is I made them glossy. So, and how is it? How did I uh, go about making this one um, look like uh, metal in the first place? So, uh, let's go about this material here. Uh, the first thing I do is in any uh, photo manipulation or whatsoever is I select the area. No? This is done by using control right now for um, having this selection visible and hide the minion. Um, this is just um, easy as that. Once you have these you can put them in a group and assign an adjustment layer to this group. The first one is um, for contrast, pushing the contrast. If I reduce this one, you see the rest is all very flat. Um, but I go in, in the right order um, to make it more to make more sense hopefully. So as what you see, the actual material is ra is rather flat and rather boring. So this little contrast helps to push the thing. Even this uh, even this tiny part, a uh, uh, motorcycle part, gets more interesting right now so um, and it's important to use this little arrow which means um, this one is assigned to the group only um, the next one is also a gradient overlay but um, with a different setting the same overlay but used with dividing and you see some very diffuse changes it brings light in my shadow area which I have over here and this changes everything. Right now I can go over over this with a decent coloring 
and this one uh, in this case it's a, it's a slight coloring it could be more but um, instead of doing everything with one layer I always go experimenting with more and this is why this bunch of uh, layers happens and in the end it's all about messing around with coloring and different gradients as you see the most is a gradient overlay there are only two color layers uh, a color lookup table and a photographic filter okay two photographic filters but the rest is a gradient overlay and with this one it appears that the same black material comes out in a more popping glossy fashion so on the color filter changes it all to the color I wanted if I want to have this green now that is actually no problem anymore yes because what lies underneath is there for the contrast and later on I can change color of the material as long as it is believable so a green material is not so believable because you don't see this very often so uh, red in my case would be uh, the way to go and Yes, that's it. I hope you learned something or it was useful. Let me know in the comments and I would really like to address some questions, whatever you have on your mind. Thank you and see you soon.